بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ہیلو ویورس آور ٹو ڈیز پروجیکٹ از سولر ٹریکنگ سسٹم لیٹس بگن ود دا سیمولیشن سو دیر از آور سیمولیشن فائل اوپن اٹ آن پروٹیس ایٹ یو کین گیٹ دا لنک ٹو کوڈ سرکل ڈائیگرام اینڈ سیمولیشن ان دا ڈسکرپشن بلو یو کین ڈاؤن لوڈ دیم فرام دیئر ان سیمولیشن فرسٹ آف آل وی ہیو یوزڈ این آر ڈی نو Along this, two LDR sensors are used to pull down the pins of LDR sensors. Two resistors of 100 kilo ohm are used. A servo motor is used. A 5 volt solar panel is used of 3 watts. Now, let's generate hex file by opening Arduino code to run the simulation. There is our code. Open it on Arduino IDE. I will demonstrate this code later. From here, go to Tools. After going to Tools, select the Arduino you know as board. After selecting board, compile the code from here. Done compiling, our code has been compiled. Copy address of hex file from here. After copying the address, go to the simulation. From here, click on Arduino. and paste the address here. Click on OK and run the file from here. As the simulation runs, servo motor gets the value of 90 degrees. Servo motor will not rotate until both LDR sensors are getting the same amount of light. And when light value increases on any LDR sensor, servo motor will move towards that. And when light value is equal on both LDR sensors, servo motor will stop again. As we close the light to the downside LDR sensor, servo motor will move downwards. And when we close the light to the upside LDR sensor, light will become equal on both LDR sensors and servo motor will stop on that position. It will be in stop condition until both LDR sensors are receiving the same amount of light. Now if we increase the value of light of upside sensor, servo motor will move upwards accordingly. And when downside sensor will get the same light as upside sensor, servo motor will stop again. So this is our simulation. Now let's have a look on the circuit diagram. There is our circuit diagram. First of all, we have used a 5 volts 3 watt solar panel. Along this, a LiPo battery charger module Mini TP4056IC is used. A 3.7 volts cell is used. A switch is used to turn the power on and off. After this, a DC to DC 3.7 volt to 5 volt converter is used. It provides 5 volts for Arduino Uno servo motor and LDR sensors. Here, an Arduino Uno is used. After this, two LDR sensors are used. LDR sensors mean light depending resistors. When light falls on them, their resistance value varies. To pull down the LDR sensors, 100 kilo ohm resistors are used. A MG90 servo motor is used. So this is our circuit diagram. Now let's connect the hardware according to the circuit diagram.
वेलकम बैक नाउ आई विल एक्सप्लेन द कोड दिस इज आवर कोड फर्स्टली वी हैव कॉल्ड द लाइब्रेरी फॉर सर्वो मोटर सर्वो मोटर इज इनिशियलाइज बाई माई सर्वो नेम टू पिंस ए नॉट एंड ए वन आर इनिशियलाइज फॉर एल डी आर सेंसर ए वेरिएबल इज इनिशियलाइज फॉर पोजिशन विच इज इक्वल टू नाइनटी वेन वी विल स्टार्ट सर्वो मोटर विल बी एट नाइनटी डिग्रीज ए वेरिएबल फॉर टॉलरेंस इज इनिशियलाइज हुज वैल्यू इज सेट टू ट्वेंटी If we deduct variables of LDR one and LDR two, and value is more than twenty, then servo motor will move. Otherwise, it will remain where it is. After this, there is void setup. Pin two is initialized for my servo. Pins of LDR sensors are initialized in input mode. Position variable is written to my servo. It means that when we will start, servo motor will be at ninety degrees. There is a thousand millisecond delay. After this, it will move to void loop. In void loop, first of all, we are reading analog value of LDR sensor one, which is assigned to variable one, which is VAL one. Here we are reading analog value of LDR sensor two, which is assigned to variable two, which is VAL two. Here we put a check. Value of variable two is deducted from value of variable one. If it drops from the value of tolerance, servo motor will not move. we have put empty place in if statement as servo motor will not do any work value of variable 1 is deducted from value of variable 2 if it drops from the value of tolerance servo motor will not move the same thing is done again first value of variable 2 is deducted from value of variable 1 if its value is more than tolerance value 20 servo motor will move similarly value of variable 1 is deducted from value of variable 2 if its value is more than tolerance value 20 servo motor will move to move the servo motor we have written the else statement here we have put a check if value of variable 1 is more than value of variable 2 it means that light is more on ldr1 at this condition it will keep adding 1 to the position variable here we have put a check again if value of variable 1 is less than value of variable 2 at this condition it will keep decrementing of 1 in the variable of position here we have put a check on position if value of position variable is more than 180 it is set to 180 degrees here we have put a check on position variable again if value of position variable drops from 0 it is set to 0 value of position variable is written to my servo there is a delay of 100 milliseconds this loop will keep running with the delay of 100 milliseconds as in this code we have put the check on ldr sensor 1 if value of variable 1 is more than value of variable 2 at this condition it will keep adding 1 in the variable of position if value of position variable is more than 180 it is set to 180 along this it will keep writing position value to my servo when light on ldr sensor 1 is more servo motor will move from 90 to 180 degrees and if light on ldr sensor 2 is more than light on ldr sensor 1 at this condition it will move servo motor from 90 to 0 degrees if value of position variable drops from 0 it is set to 0 along this it will keep writing position variable to my servo This loop will keep running with the delay of 100 milliseconds. If you want to increase the speed of movement of solar panel, you should decrease this delay. So this was our code. Now let's upload it on Arduino. From here, go to Tools. After going to Tools, select Arduino Uno as board. After selecting the board, select the port. After selecting port, upload the code from here. done uploading our code has been uploaded now have a look on hardware working